हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द प्लेसमेंट ओरिएंटेड कोडिंग क्वेश्चन ट्यूटोरियल बाय योर होस्ट एंड दोस्ट मिस्टर सूरज पवार सर इन अ लास्ट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी गाइस हैव डिस्कस द लॉस्ट इन फॉरेस्ट क्वेश्चन दैट हैज बीन आस्क्ड इन एक्सेंचर कैपजिमिनाई एंड टीसीएस रिस्पेक्टेड ड्राइव्स नाउ टुडे आल्सो वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टीसीएस वी गाइस आर गोइंग टू बी uh have it here and we are going to check how we are going to write with that code majorly what the tcs used to do when it is coming to coding question as far as everyone knows when it is coming to tcs we have two coding question round available well in that coding question we guys have to solve at least one code with all the test cases and other code at least 50% of the test cases which means you will get qualified for the tcs placement but when it is coming to the first question of the tcs that describes in a problem statement okay so solution will be of very less number of lines but that question that we are we guys are going to be have it on the screen we have to check them a lot and inside the question there is an availability of your problem statement so kind of the same today i gathered some questionnaires that we guys are going to discuss here again if you guys are haven't you, you you guys are new to our channel and haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe because every day you are going to check with the content so that you will get that notification and you will be the first one to watch that video so let us start with here so we have these questions and when it is coming to tcs questions they haven't provided the problem statement so some of the tcs drive they have provided but uh, most of the tcs drive lastly that is getting done in tcs platform they just mention the problem statement description likewise so what the problem statement says here let us check so the problem statement says in a land of stone so we have a land of stone which is numbered from 1 to infinity so which means a for loop is going to use and which is going to start by 1 and that doesn't end it okay so we have to reach a particular stone k the k is given input guys so we have to reach to the particular stone of k which is the winning point so k is what our winning point one has to go to the winning point by stepping of those stones so one person has to go there by the stepping of these stones over there but since the stones are big one can jump a uh, one can jump one or two stones at a time so we have to jump the stone from one or two stones at a time and there are many players in the game so there are many players available in the game and all are lined of the stone he used to cross the river in the same order so all are lined those are there in a line of the stone that he or she used to cross the river same order he step on them so again if other another player after crossing he will get his path in the array that match from any of the previous array he loses so which means the person who is right now working in the game he going to use the last one array that array should be stored the number of stones that was followed by the y person he was loses by that time so we have to use that one array only and we have to get at the winning point so what is the input they have given we you are given the number of k and you have to tell whether okay the logic is not for that uh, like how many steps are required what is the logic we have to tell whether the kth person in the queue can survive in the game given all the previous context so i have to check whether that kth person will be get survived or not and and the kth person is aware of all the paths as i mentioned that kth person is aware of all the path by the previous people so we have given the value of k 
and we just wanted to tell them whether the kth person will be get survive or not and again if you guys can check the output so which is there in the format of yes or no so let us ch check with the examples along along with an explanation right there so in the example we have given two inputs okay first is the value of n as they mention and second is the value of k okay so the output returns as no here so here in the example one i can get n is 2 and the value of k is what 3 so how the output will be no see the explanation so since the path to cross the rivers are okay starting from 1 to infinity that is what 1 to n 1 and 2 if you use one tile at a time we can able to cross it and if i can jump to the second so in the second if you jump to the second tile at the same time so the third person will have no unique path array and that is the reason it will not get survived so it is written as no okay coming to the second input so in the second input if you guys can check the value of n is what 5 and the value of k is what 2 so the output is yes how the output is yes the possible path to cross the reverse which is followed by the first person is 1 to 5 okay so he can start from 1 and he can survive till to the 5 since the second person will start it like 2 to 1 so which this path which is not used by the second person so we can say yes the second person can able to survive in the game so if we can check all these questions properly what we have to do is we have to input the value of n we have to input the value of k and there is no any functions to be get implement so i can write that code directly well for this question what is the condition where all these things are getting false okay the conditions are there where the all things are getting false is what the value of k is greater than n so i have a condition right there instead of the for loop what i'm going to do i can check the value of k if the value of k is greater than n i am directly going to print no okay that's fine okay that is one of the no application but what for this okay when it, it will be checked for yes well i'm going to check for yes is if the value of k and value of n okay value of n given as a 5 and the value of k given as a 2 so if the n modulus k if i'm trying to dividing that uh, like finding out the remainder of n modulus k and that is not equals to 0 which means it will be get survived so i'm going to print yes but one more yes is available right now okay see the constraint is also given the value of n must be lies from 1 to 100 and the value of k is also lies from 1 to 100 so if you are dealing with java or a c++ so using the constraint you have to fix up with your respective part of data types and in the output i have to print capital yes and capital no likewise now let us bring this with a problem statement and let us try to understand how these conditions are going to write and how we guys are going to write with the code so we have a simple part of code right there so let us open the IDE to write the code in python so i am going to open the IDE and using some sort of conditions i have to write with that code so let me create the new file i am going to post it here or instead of creating new file i am going to change the last one okay lost in for it that where we guys are deal with so i am going to remove with that so as per the problem statement i have to input the value of n and k and both are integer input so i am going to say n comma k and i am going to map them with the integer by separated by the space right now we have some sort of conditions to get it performed so if the k is greater than n well i have to print what I need to print here no but in capital letter format again else if the modulus n modulus k is not equals to 0 well I am going to print here as yes and if all these conditions means if n modulus k is 
equals to zero in that case also it will not survive so i'm going to say else print no all right so let us check the program so the inputs are two and three first so i'm going to run the program here so the inputs are two space three and you can see in the output it returns with the same value in the output given that is what no now let us check the second question that is five and two so i'm going to recompile it so i'm going to say five and two and for the five and two yes it is printing the yes right there that is what the conclusion guys when it is coming to tcs the first question that you guys are going to attempt is what really very simple either it is using the for loop or a while loop or the decision control structure and most importantly when it is coming to tcs questions you have to read that questions clearly until and unless you will not read that you will not get to understood what kind of conditions must be returns over to there so this is the problem statement and this might be the solution for it so if you guys have understood something from the video please give us the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe to our channel share it to the needful people and stay tuned for the next video guys thanks for watching this video bye bye take care